Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kerrigan's Winter Band Concert. Just before we begin, we'd just like to remind you there is no food or drink allowed in the auditorium. Once again, no food or drink allowed in the auditorium. Thank you. of the concert, starting with the English song, Hot Cross Buns. having both the beginner and intermediate bands both up here at the same time. 
Uh, so for those of you who do not know me, my name is Mr. Loopley, and uh, usually I'm the beginner band director. Um, our other band director is Mr. Vesicchio, who uh, works with the intermediate band. He's actually um, at home right now. Well, actually, no, he's here tonight. Um, but he had a, a surgery just before the winter break, so he had to take a few weeks off from teaching and recuperate, but he is here tonight to see the band. Um, so that's why I'll be working with both bands tonight. Um, so the song we just did, Hot Cross Buns, that is a, a typical repertoire song for just about any beginner band. Um, and it comes from England, and hot cross buns are actually a type of pastry that are eaten uh, typically on Easter time. Um, so right now we'd like to do a few more holiday type songs and winter songs. We're going to continue next with the holiday classic, Jingle Bells. talk a little bit about the, uh, the two bands. First of all, uh, students are not placed in band based on what their grade level is, rather by skill level. So in the beginner band, we have students who are from fifth grade and sixth grade. In the intermediate band, we have students that are uh, in fifth grade and sixth grade. It's all about skill level. So all the intermediate band students are students who already knew how to play their instrument and study on that instrument for at least one year. All the beginner students came in in September not knowing anything about playing in a band. They didn't know how to put an instrument together, much less play it, and they certainly did not know how to read uh, musical notation. So they have come a long way in just these few uh, first few months. Um, right now, we'd like to take things a little further into the uh, winter holiday category. So this is an old English Christmas carol. This is called Good King Wenceslas. talk a little bit about the instrumentation that we have here in our bands, um, because some people sometimes say, oh, where's the keyboards, or where's the guitar, and so forth. So yeah, this is a concert band, so the only instruments we feature are instruments that are in the brass, woodwind, and percussion families. So you will see instruments such as the flute, the clarinet, the alto saxophone, those are all the woodwind instruments. In the brass family, you will see some students playing trumpets and trombones. And we also have some students who are playing the percussion family, which is a wide range of different instruments that are all um, played either by hitting, shaking, or scraping in some way. Uh, next, we're gonna kind of lead away from the Christmas songs a little bit. We're gonna play a uh, classic Hanukkah song called Dreidel Dreidel, sometimes known as I Have a Little Dreidel. And this is about a small spinning top that Jewish boys and girls traditionally play with during Hanukkah, the dreidel. It's a four-sided spinning top. Now, on each side of the spinning top, there is a different Hebrew letter. Uh, so all the players start with pieces of candy that they put into a bowl, and depending on what side it lands on, they either um, win more pieces of candy, or they will lose some. So if they get uh, hay, the letter hay, they get half of whatever's in the bowl. If they get gimel, they get everything that's in the bowl. If they get nun, they get nothing. And if they get shin, they have to put one of their pieces of candy in. And the object is to keep on playing until everybody has nothing and there's just one person who has won everything. 
So without any further ado, dreidel, dreidel. So those first four arrangements that we just did with the beginner band, um, those are very short arrangements from their method book that they are learning from. And those particular songs were all done in unison, meaning that all the instruments were playing the same notes at the same time. Now we're going to play a couple of band arrangements, full band arrangements, and the difference is that these are not in unison, they are fully orchestrated, meaning that different instruments are playing different notes at different times. Sometimes just the flutes and the trumpets will be playing, sometimes just the saxophones and trombones might be playing. So because of that, it is a little bit more confusing for beginner students at first, but they get used to it, uh, they get used to it after a while, and it definitely has a lot more character and a lot more voicings going on, and it's a much more interesting song to listen to. So this first full band arrangement we'll be doing is a medley of different holiday songs. It's called The Holiday Sampler. And if you listen closely, you'll hear little bits of popular holiday tunes such as Jingle Bells, Good King Wenceslas, um, and Jolly Old St. Nick. <laughs> very much. Uh, so we have one more piece that will feature the beginner band, uh, and it's another full band arrangement, and it's another medley of holiday tunes. This one um, features a few different ones, such as Come All Ye Faithful. This is called First Christmas March, and unlike the last one, this has more of a parade march kind of feel to it.
Thank you very much. Uh, we're now about to begin our intermediate band portion of the program. So uh, one difference between the intermediate band and the beginner band, besides they've been playing longer, is that with this group we tend to focus on uh, more specifics of the band pieces. So yeah, we learn a few different notes, but we also learn more complex rhythms, we learn more complex time signatures, we learn different types of dynamics, which means learning different uh, volumes. So like some parts of the song will be quiet, some parts of the song will be loud, we'll have these nice crescendos where things get loud or get quiet, and so we'll have different levels that add a lot more character to the music even changes in tempo and speed and so forth. So there's a lot more action that's going on with this group. Uh, so we're gonna start with our first band arrangement, uh, which is based on the story of the three magi, or the three wise men who went searching for the Christ child. And there was somebody else, a small shepherd boy, who also wanted to give, uh, give a gift to the Christ child, but all he had was a toy drum, so he played a song for him as an offering. So without any further ado, this is The Little Drummer Boy. Getting ready for the next song, I wanted to uh, kind of give some thanks to some people who made this concert possible. So first, I'd like to thank our administration, Mr. Frank Paolino, Mr. Rich Weber, Ms. Twana Sheridan, and our fine arts coordinator, Ms. Francine Coppola. Uh, I'd also like to thank all the classroom teachers who were very cooperative in letting out all of these students for full band rehearsals, because what a lot of people don't know is that we do not meet as a full band every week. We just meet in small, groups by instrument. So these students didn't play with each other until about a week ago. This is, so it's only within this last week where they've actually been able to hear what they sound like as a full band. So classroom teachers, thank you so much. We really needed those extra couple rehearsals in. Also, I'd like to thank Dr. Cecilia Whetstone, who came very last minute to kind of fill in for Mr. Vesicchio after he had the surgery, and she was a huge help with uh, helping to prepare the intermediate band students for this concert. So all those people, thank you. We, we couldn't have done this without you. Uh, so for this next per, uh, performance we'd like to do, we're gonna do a full band arrangement of Simple Gifts, which is actually a, uh, a common repertoire song for bands like this. However, this version is called The Simple Gifts of Christmas because this one will have little bits and quotes of Christmas carols thrown in.
our next arrangement, we're going to have a piece that really features the uh, brass and percussion sections. Um, this one kind of gives me uh, images of a scene from perhaps the Nutcracker Suite, um, or even just like a vision of toy soldiers or Nutcrackers um, marching. So this is called Parade of the Wooden Soldiers. Thank you very much. So we're now leading up to our final selection of the evening. But first, I'd just like uh, to point out you, the parents, uh, and thank you because you are a big part of this too, making sure that your, uh, your children have kept up with practicing and making sure that they are doing everything they can to uh, learn the new notes and the new rhythms. And even though it could be a little confusing at times, you've made sure that they've kept up with it, and we hope that continues because we have some great songs planned for the spring concert in May. Um, so we think things are just going to keep on getting bigger and better, and we hope to have a wonderful concert then as well. So thank you very much. Um, so we're going to end our show tonight with a classic holiday staple that always reminds me of the, uh, the TV special that's on every December. This is Frosty the Snowman.
and good night.